<laughs> We're in Scotts, Michigan. It's southwest corner of Michigan. The Oxtrot run is going on here at Tillers International, the farm that they use to train people to farm with oxen in third world countries. So it's a pretty cool initiative. Jesse is running a 16 miler on the trails. There's a four, eight and 16 mile option. So of course she went for as far as she could go. Uh, there's a couple of different loops. One of them is high and dry for about half of the run. And the other half is a little bit more lowland farmland and it is wet and muddy. So it's interesting to see everybody coming back covered in various shades of mud, depending on which loops they ran and for how long. Jesse is the runner in the family. The joke we use is I will only run if there's a bear chasing me. But I do an important role, I think, which is I'm the crew chief, I guess, for her. So I make sure she has everything she needs before she takes off. I help keep her focused if she's a little anxious on a longer run. Uh, and I'm available during the run if something happens. So in the case today, she's running on trails that are muddy and wet, and the halfway point is coming back through the start finish area. And so I was there to meet her with a stool to sit on and some paper towels so she could get her shoes and socks off real quick, dry her feet off, put on a pair of dry socks, and be a little more ready to go for the second half. She's got another eight miles to go. I didn't really know what the definition of black mud was, and I sure found out. That's all over me, all over the trail. It's pretty deep water. We're gonna go do it again. Another eight miles. Another eight miles. Four miles of dry and four miles of, well, slop. But it's a gorgeous day for a run. All right. Go get them. Bye. One of the great things about the Class B RV that we have, the converted van, is we can go pretty much anywhere for these runs that Jesse has. And we were able to come out last night to this farm where this is being run today. And when we got here, they knew we were coming. We asked if we could just boondock overnight somewhere. And the guy met us and said, uh, you know, why don't you just park it over by the barn? So there was plenty of room for us. Uh, we didn't have to worry about where we were gonna put the van overnight. And she was able to get a good night's rest before her run. We were able to be here first thing in the morning when they opened up to do registration and packet pickup and it was just a fantastic idea to come out last night and not have to worry about the drive and the traveling right before she needed to go run 16 miles. And that is something that we have found is an incredible use of this van, is an incredible use of, of having an RV. Uh, if you are a runner and you have someone who can sort of man the vehicle for you and take care of everything in and outside the vehicle while you worry about your running, I highly recommend it. And I'm pretty sure Jesse would feel that way too if I was able to ask her and she wasn't out in the middle of a farm slogging through mud and water because apparently that's fun. Well, I just finished my 16 mile trail race. It's the A, the longest race I've ever done. Um, and B, I guess it's my, it's my second official trail race. I did one this winter, but uh, as you can see, it was extremely muddy, a lot of fun, um, but what was also great about it was that we were able to camp here overnight and it meant getting a good night's rest, being able to get up in the morning, eat, get dressed and walk about 25 yards to the start line. So I didn't have to get up, didn't have to worry about traveling uh, and any of the normal pre-race jitter issues that I normally have. It helps when you can just sort of roll out of bed and go to the start line um, and just feel more relaxed in the morning. So it was good. I had a, had a lot of fun. It was... Um, definitely muddy and yeah we're gonna leave it at that it was definitely muddy but it was a lot of fun and I would actually totally do it again next year